Blessed be your holy name. Praise God. At this time, we're going into prayer. I don't have any written prayer requests, but I would imagine that there are some prayer requests. And uh, spoken of and written, you would just raise your hands. Yes, the Lord sees. Praise God. Praise God. So we're going to bring our needs to the Lord. We're going to worship him and then bring our needs to him. Could we all close our eyes and bow our heads? Lord Jesus, precious Jesus, nobody like you, Jesus. We want to praise you for your omnipotence, for you are the one who created the heavens and the earth. You created the animals, the birds. You created the angels. You created all mankind. And you eventually became a human being as well. Lord Jesus, Lord, we thank you for your great omnipotence. It is because of all of that why we can, Lord Jesus, come to you in prayer with the assurance that you can do for us what no other can do. Praise God. We worship you for your holiness and your righteousness. Lord Jesus, when we consider how holy you are, we ought to bow, we ought to fall prostrate before you. Oh, and lift up holy hands and worship our God, for he is holy, 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 holy. Lord God Almighty, hallelujah, praise God. We can recall Isaiah in chapter 6, oh God, when he recognized your holiness, oh God, your holiness, oh God, made him feel so sinful, oh God, and so we ought to be, oh God, in your presence even now. Oh, God. Oh, because you are a righteous and holy God. Jesus, Jesus, we worship you. We honor you. We adore you. We magnify you. And if we could ever get a glimpse of your holiness, like Isaiah the prophet, oh, I don't know what we would do with ourselves. Oh, God would recognize ourselves as sinful man, a wretched man we have. Ah, holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. Mm, the doorpost moves. Hallelujah at your holiness. Oh God, oh God, oh God, we remember Moses, oh God. Oh God on the mount, oh God. 
take off thy shoe, for this is holy ground. Now, mmm, 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 mmm. Oh, what sinful man. Oh, God, you have justified us through your blood, through your salvation, and now we can lift holy hands in your holy presence. It's all because of your grace. Your grace and mercy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we want to thank you for all that you have done for us. Oh, God, you have done great things. The songwriter says, we are up, we are glad. Oh, God, today we stand in your sanctuary. Oh, God, to worship you. And so, Lord Jesus, we ought to thank you for, Lord Jesus, making us so privileged to worship you. There are many who cannot worship you today. Oh God, in several other countries, oh God, they're not able to do so. But Lord, we have this great freedom to worship and honor our Lord. Oh God, help us to utilize the privilege we have and not to treat lightly that privilege. Oh God, oh God. So we thank you, Lord, for Lord, all that you have done for us and for your precious salvation. Oh God, and for having kept us, oh God, since being saved. Oh God, all these years you have been with us. And you said you'll never ever leave us nor forsake us. Help us to play, to keep our part of the bargain. Oh God. Oh God. Help us to be grateful, oh God, in spite of some of the things that we don't have and would like to have. Help us to be thankful, to be grateful for all that you have already done. And if we could recall all that you have done for us, oh God, we would recognize that those things that have not yet been done are just few, relatively few, to the many things that you have done. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And Lord Jesus, there are some needs here. Persons have raised their hands. And there are those who may not have raised their hands, but there are needs on not only here, but oh God, in this community. Oh God, and those who are in uh, viewing live stream, listening to us right now, may have several needs, diverse needs, needs that the professionals cannot meet, oh God. Nobody on earth can meet, and they're looking to you tonight. Oh God, and we're so happy to present, oh God, none other none other than the lord jesus christ to them oh god who can meet all our needs because you are omniscient and you're omnipotent hallelujah 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 and so lord jesus meet the needs that are here oh god and everywhere oh god but above all oh god there are those who are unsaved and we are conscious of that Oh, God, that need is the greatest need that we can ever think of, the need to be saved. Oh, God, for what shall it profit a man to gain this whole world and to lose his own soul? What shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Oh, God, help somebody today. Oh, God, under my, in the hearing of my speech today, to recognize the great importance of their soul. Oh, God, and to surrender their lives to you. If anybody is here tonight, oh God, who is not saved, not having not repented of their sins, not been baptized in the precious name of Jesus Christ, not filled with the Holy Ghost, I pray to, to this evening will be, Lord Jesus, the evening for them. Oh, God, that based on your conviction, oh, God, they will, Lord Jesus, surrender their lives to you and receive your Holy Spirit and be buried in your lovely name. What an evening this will be. Oh, 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 Jesus, let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be. Lord, as we continue our service this evening, Lord Jesus, use each and every one who will minister this evening 
use them mightily for your honor and for your glory. And Lord, at the end of it all, if you tarry, oh God, help us, Lord, to give you all the praise, all the honor, and all the glory due to your lovely name. Thank you, Jesus, for hearing and for answering. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Would you remain standing while we have our Bible reading? It will be taken from Hebrews 3, reading from verse 17. Hebrews chapter 3. Sorry, Abaco 3. Praise the Lord, everybody. Now we are reading Amaka 3, our message tonight, which is from Amaka 3, 17 to 19. Although the fig tree shall not blossom, neither shall fruit be in the vine, the labor of the olive shall fade, and the field shall heal no meat. The flock shall be cut off from the fold. And there shall be no herd in the stalls. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. The Lord God is my strength. And he will make my feet like hinds feet. And he will make me to walk upon my high place. To the chief singers on my string instrument. There end the reading of God's holy word. Praise. Praise the Lord. The theme of our service tonight is let the church rejoice. Let the church rejoice. And I just feel to sing grateful, grateful gratefulness. That's what is coming from my heart tonight. Grateful. For the things that you
Tanisha is going to welcome us and give us the announcement in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Let us just give the Lord a hand clap. Let us thank him for his faithfulness. Amen. And for allowing us another opportunity to be in his house. I'm just going to invite us to just get up and move around and shake hands with at least three persons. Thank you, Jesus. Let's welcome them into the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. It's always a blessing to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And we pause just to honor the Lord. Amen. Because we are here tonight. Some, some of us might have had to make a special effort to come out for whatever reason. There might have not been any bus fear, taxi fear, or just not that desire to come. But we are here in the house of the Lord. And we just want to give the Lord thanks. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. So I really want to welcome our visitors. Is there any visitor in the house tonight? I'm going to invite you to stand. Praise the Lord. We're happy to have that young lady. Thank you for coming. We know that you had a choice. Amen. We're happy that you are joining us. And of course, persons joining us by live stream. Thank you for your faithfulness. We pray that the Lord will bless you richly. And we ask that you just have a heart of expectancy because the Lord is not confined to a building. He's where you are even now. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. And of course, members of Pentecostal Tabernacle, we're happy that you are here tonight. These are the announcements. On Tuesday, we'll be having our Golden Ages for a meeting, which will begin at 12 and should end at about 2 p.m. On Wednesday, church fast. 6.30 a.m. we have morning manna and the theme is throw out the lifeline. At 11.45 a.m. we have prayer service. At 6 p.m. we have prayer and Bible study and this will be the beginning of our concurrent session. Amen. Praise God. So we're looking forward for us, everybody to come and bring a guest. Praise God. On Sunday we'll be having rightly dividing the word on RGR Fame FM. That begins at 6 a.m. 7.30 a.m. We have prayer time in the sanctuary. Pre-session begins at 8. At 8.30 a.m. We have Sunday school. 
10 a.m. we have worship service and children's church. 6 p.m. we have pre-service prayer and evening worship service. Praise God. And just to let you know also that the funeral service for Sister Jackie Ingram will be held this Saturday at the Greater Grace Tabernacle Temple, sorry, and that's at 69A Deanery Road, and it begins at 1 p.m. Please remember to continue praying for the family members. Amen. Especially Gabby, please mention her name. Our prayer and fasting chain continues, and the focus is on the salvation of souls. Praise God. And I just want to also make special mention to the persons here from Worship Tabernacle. I'm seeing Sister Pedla. Amen. So can all the persons from Worship Tabernacle please stand. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. And we're happy that you're here worshiping with us. I know there are members on the praise team. Bless God. And Pastor Pele is here. The Lord bless you richly. Have a wonderful week in Jesus. Praise the Lord. And we are happy to have them, especially Father, Pastor Pedro, who will be ministering to us tonight. In Jesus' name. It's time for us to continue our worship in our tithes and offering. So we are inviting our ushers to come while our praise team will lead us in worship. In Jesus' name.
could we just close our eyes as we you know, pray for the offering? Lord, we thank you for what has been collected tonight. We thank you for persons who have come with a willing heart to give and have given. Lord, some of us have given out of nothing, but we want to express our love to you and appreciation to you by giving back to you from that which you have blessed us with. Now that we have received it, I pray, God, that you'll give us the wisdom to use that which we have collected for your cause wisely so that it can be used for the furtherance of your kingdom. Thank you. Bless and multiply. And I pray, God, that your people that are here, that your blessings will spill over in their lives so that they can bring more and more into your house as we worship you through giving. Thank you. In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. You may be seated. Praise God. It is testimony time. And the word of God says we defeat the enemy by the word of our testimony. So we're going to testify. And we're asking Sister Chen to come and share our testimony with us. There's a roof up above me. And a fine place to sleep. Food on my table. Shoes on my feet. You gave me your love, Lord. And a fine the Lord, everybody. God is glorious and he's great. There's this saying that there's a lot, a song that says that there's a long parade of miracles. And it's led by a wonderful thing. King, I am so glad I'm a part of those miracles. Those miracles of Jesus, my King. God is good to me. I don't know why he loved me so. But I feel so special to know that I'm a, his child, a child of the king. Now, some things are just happening um, in the past, over the past month or so. I remember I was coming in, and when I came near to Ligani, the rain started to pour. And I said, oh, my God. I was on the bus, and I said, oh, my God, I don't know how I'm going to get home on this rain, but I'm asking you to stop the rain. That is the sort of relationship <laughs> we have. And um, I said, Lord, please, because I can't walk when I get off the bus and to walk in this downpour. So please, can you stop the rain? The bus stopped. The rain didn't stop. And I said, Lord, you know, I'm very disappointed. Anyway, I'm going to walk through the plaza. And when I was going through, um, the guys who come, you know, take the customers from the supermarket, they use an umbrella and take them to their car. And I just thought I would just ask this lady. And when I asked her, I said, can you drop me by the stoplight? And she said, sure. I was sort of surprised, honestly. <laughs> and she said, oh, yes, come. And he um, took her and he came back for me, you know, with the umbrella and took me. And while we were there, you know, she was just talking to me. And um, I was just sharing, you know, God is good and all that. And she said, um, I'm sure you're not. You don't live at the stoplight. <laughs> and I said, no. She said, well, tell me where you live. I said, are you going in that direction? She said, no, but I'm not going to leave you here at the stoplight. And she took me straight to the door. And I said, God, forgive me. Forgive me. Because I had asked him to make a way, and I determined that way. But he just blew my mind away. On Saturday again, when I came to Ligani, the rain started to fall. It looked like we in a real setup, and all of a sudden, it started to fall. And I said, Lord, not again. Please. And I said, I'm going to walk. I said, no, Lord, I'm going to walk to the security gate. And, you know, I'm just going to the stoplight. So please, Lord, provide a way. And I went up to the security, and I said to him, I'm renting some space to just stand with you here to see if I can get a drive. 
And I said that. A car drove up. Right? And when I looked, I said, oh, Dana. That was my neighbor. And I said, oh, my God. <laughs> Let me tell you. I was so excited. I said, no. I said, you see, I don't owe you security. Because you see, right there and then, the car stopped. I had to hand the ticket, and there was Dana. And I just want to encourage you that being, just being a child of God is such a privilege. It is so awesome. And to think that God chose me, it is awesome. So I just want to encourage you. Whatever you ask of the Lord, believe and trust him. And it is not out of order to tell him, this is just how I feel, to say, Lord, this is what I would like to happen. The thing is that I sometimes, I believe he just smile at me because he knows that I'm asking for less than he has to give me, right? And, it does, and I'm not shortchanged. So just continue to pray and just continue to trust the Lord for his good and his mercies are everlasting. Praise God. We serve an awesome God, isn't he? I'm going to ask Sister Pedler to just give a word of testimony. Praise the Lord. Praise God. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Praise the Lord Jesus. You know, the God that we serve is so great. I remember this young lady that came to church one Sunday night like this. And, you know, she could not conceive. And... I just remember when we, we just started to worship. And, you know, our church is called Worship Tabernacle. So if we don't worship, it just look really bad. So we just really love to worship. I don't know if there's anybody in this house tonight who came with a worship. I, I'm asked to testify, but I just feel like just worshiping the Lord tonight. Is there anybody in the house tonight? You came with your worship. You came with your praise. You just want to shout. Because we believe that when we, when we lift up the, the Lord, the, the Lord will just do wonderful things. There's power in worship. And tonight, most of my victories in Jesus is through worship. Praise God. When I cannot find the school fees, when I cannot find the mortgages, when I cannot do anything, when my needle, when I'm coming from the country, driving, and the needle is on E. And I remember the song that says, that's enough, oh Lord, yes, that's enough. I put my hand on it and I say, in the name of Jesus. And I begin to worship. I love to worship Jesus because he has done so many things for me. I just can't complain. I love the Lord tonight. And I implore you, just let us worship. Let's do the old time apostolic way of doing worship praise god when we run the aisles and the hats go one way praise god and we have space enough to worship the lord we have space enough to run the aisles praise god almighty i remember years ago you had a brother who would slide off the, the um the balcony i in the spirit he will just do that. Praise God. I remember one young man who would just run like you see in bolt down the aisles. Oh my God, it was great. And I just want to see that glory return. Praise God. Let us just worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. Let's give him all that he deserves. God bless you in Jesus' name. Tell me the story of Jesus Right on my heart Every word Tell me the story Most precious Tell 
Praise the Lord. I invite you to stand as we welcome to the podium tonight our speaker, Pastor Pedler, in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, rain down, rain down, oh, and pray, how we be your child. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It's all about him. It's all about you, Lord. We just want to stand behind the cross so your glory can be seen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Praise God. You may be seated. I'm grateful to the Lord for the opportunity just to be a servant. Certainly God has been good. I'm sure not just to me, but to all of us who are gathered here tonight. And our purpose is to glorify him. Because he alone deserves the glory and the honor. I'd just like to take this opportunity just to say thanks to the Lord and to all my brothers and sisters for the privilege of being identified with you as your fellow brother and you, my sisters and brothers. Certainly God has not changed, he's still the same. And I'm, and I'm, just, I'm just happy for that. <laughs> Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Let me take this opportunity just to say to the members of the board who are here and all the ministers, all the departmental leaders, all the warriors of the cross of Jesus Christ, I'd like to greet you in the exalted name of the Lord Jesus Christ tonight and to let you know that God has been more than enough. More than enough. Praise God. Praise God. By the help of the Lord tonight, I'd like to share with us a thought on the caption www. Dot. I put a dot there because it just simply means full stop. I'm not going anywhere beyond the www. And the first W really speaks to a widow, a widow woman. The second W speaks to a wimp. And the third W, a warrior. Uh, the widow, I would like to not just include just the woman being the widow, but also the widower, the man, because the same principle applies to the woman as the widow and the man as the widower. And the, the wimp, it is described as an offensive term that deliberately insults somebody regarded as a weak, timid, and unassertive or ineffectual individual. And the warrior, it is significant to know that the warrior is regarded as someone who has taken part in or is experienced in warfare. Not merely thinking about being involved in warfare, but that warrior would have to, by his involvement or indulging in warfare, must have some exposure to what battle is all about. So those who just have a figment of their imagination as to what war is about, that's not the category I'm addressing tonight. I'm speaking to those who are real warriors. You've had some experience. You have been involved in spiritual warfare. Let me, let me just qualify that. Not, not being antagonistic or being um, involved in any physical encounters, but spiritual warfare. Praise God. Praise God. Let me invite us all to stand at this time as we turn to the book of Luke, Luke chapter 21. Reading from verse 1 through to verse 4. And he looked up and saw the rich men casting their gifts into the treasury. And he saw also a certain poor widow casting two mites. And he said, of a truth, I say unto you that this poor widow had cast in more than they all. For all these have of their abundance cast in unto the offerings of God, but she of her penury hath cast in all the living that she had. Let us just bow our heads as I ask. Um, 
minister pray just to pray at this time. Praise God. Lord Jesus, we thank you for who you are. Your servant stands ready now to declare your word. We know that he's anointed. We ask that you re-anoint him for this occasion. Lord Jesus, we want to hear from you. Use his lips, use his tongue, use him in a mighty way. That, Lord, your word, your message that you have given him this evening will come very clearly to us and powerfully to us. So that, Lord, those who are here, who are not saved, will come to know you. Or wherever they are, will come to know you. Whom to know is life eternal. Thank you for hearing in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. You may be seated. One little old widow with a heart that was even bigger than herself. Because ever so often we hold back on so many things that we can give to God because of our own personal assessment in believing that it's just too small to give. The word penury speaks to someone that is in the state of poverty, in the state of pennilessness an indigent person, someone who was destitute. But in spite of her peculiar condition, there was something that just was really bubbling up within her innermost part. And she looked at what she had which was just two might and that represented everything that she possessed and she says the Lord deserves this and much more praise God praise God praise God praise God I want to believe that preceding her you had some images just passing before her. Probably when she looked, she saw someone with an envelope in the hand concealing what they were taking to the Lord. But maybe you had individuals with what represented then you can actually equate with what we call a check, evidence of big money coming to cast into the treasury. And more than likely stepping quite proudly and looking a bit pompous as well. Love God, but proud. And here comes this weak, frail widow with a heart bubbling with the love and the passion for God and the things of God. And she gave what she had. And the Lord saw it. And he commented upon it. He said, this widow have given more than not just the big check, but all that the others have given. Oh, praise God. 
Oh, praise God. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are those in the body of Christ and possibly in this assembly, as it is in other assemblies, who may be measuring, calculating, believing that I just don't have enough to give because what I have to offer is not worth the while looking upon. Hallelujah. Those two mites, you could equate them today just for reason of discussion as two dollars. But those two dollars looms larger than anybody else could give. And the Lord commented upon it. Hallelujah. So the question is, what do you have to give? Don't watch any face. Don't be intimidated by the crowd. Just give what you have unto the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, praise God. Praise God. We will come up against obstacles that it seems that not even prayer and fasting can move. But God wants us to persevere. He's saying to us, don't give up. <laughs> don't quit. Just keep pressing on. The answer is just a prayer away. And he spake a parable unto them to this end that men ought always to pray and not to faint. He said there was a In a city, a judge which feared not God, neither regarded man. And there was a widow in that city, and she came unto him, saying, Avenge me of mine adversary. And he would not for a while, but afterward he said within himself, Though I fear not God, No regard, man. Yet because this widow troubled me, I will avenge her, lest by her continual coming she weary me. And the Lord said, Hear what the unjust judge said? And shall not God avenge his own elect which cry day and night unto him though he have though he bear long with them I tell you that he will avenge them speedily nevertheless when the son of man cometh shall he find faith on the earth in other words God is saying weary me with your prayers Persevere in prayer. Don't give up. Keep pressing fervently with that which you desire. Pray on. Press on. Believe on. The answer is just a prayer away. Oh, praise God. Oh, praise God. Oh, praise God. There are many, I would say, yay, multitudes of special young men in this country. Now, dare say, in this community of Wildman Street and the general environs, who God has eyes upon them. He's seen the kind of heart that they have towards him.
in spite of their lifestyle. There are those who would be possibly on the corner and you know them just rubbing their hand middle, preparing what is traditionally known as a, a big head or a spliff. But God has his eyes upon them. Somehow in the heart of that young man on the corner, that father who may be involved in activities that is just despicable to us, God has his eyes upon them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Watching and talking to them. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. If that young man or that young woman would ever come into a discussion the child of God who will assure them that what God has to give you in your life in one second the devil cannot give you in a million years all you have to do is just walk away from that, 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 that moment that you're spending that that lifetime that you're spending in your sin and just stand at an old-fashioned Pentecostal altar. Open your mouth and confess your sins to him. And he has promised that if you confess your sins, he will forgive you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God has so much to offer and they need to know that he's just waiting to change their lives. Oh, praise God. Oh, praise God. The wimp, as we mentioned, is someone who is regarded as weak and timid unassertive and ineffectual. A story was told about several servants who God gave talents. But there was one of the servant who he got what he regarded as when him look at what him other brethren them get him say, oh, what is is what God no respect me. I joke him, I joke. But he must have said it quietly because the master departed and left them to do what they would need to do with the investment that he made in their lives. The others were busily working on what God had given them. But there was this one that I regard as a wimp because all he was looking at is that I just get one talent. I'm not a boy. As far as I'm concerned, there's nothing in the kingdom that is below my dignity to do. One of God's servants declared, he says, I'd rather be a, a doorkeeper in the house of the Lord than to dwell in the tent of wickedness. Oh, praise God. If the attitude of God's people can be that I am available, Lord, use me. Lord, I'm not watching any face. I'm not concerned about what the others have. 
I'm just concerned about loving you and just, 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 just serving you, just walking faithfully before you. And if you call me now just to, just to sweep the yard, as it were, God, I'm ready. I'll be the best in what I do because it's about your kingdom. I am just available. Use me, Lord. Use me, Lord. I refuse to be a wimp. I refuse to have self-pity. I refuse to allow my circumstances to keep me down. I am a promise. I am a possibility. I am a promise with a capital P. I'm a great big bundle of potentiality. Waiting. <laughs> ah, God Almighty. Hallelujah. 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 I know that there are persons, there are individuals in the body of Christ that if, if the pastor or the leader is not calling them to, to do a preach, Can you just assist us in making welcome that potential soul that walks through the door? It is possible that the attitude and the response may be, oh, think of why am I dealing with it? And I'm saying, the the, the, the deacon come ask me. I thought he would come himself and, 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 and reach out to me and ask me kindly. Oh, praise God. Oh, praise God. Oh, praise God. I believe that the Lord is still visiting the Gentiles, picking out a people for his name's sake. Hearts that are willing, men and women who are just feeling for the souls that are crying and the men that are dying want to become that vessel through which God can change lives. I refuse to be a wimp. Can we just lift our hands everywhere and let's just, let's just love the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Let's bring me to my third W. And it's in respect of the warrior. There's some among us who are like Moses, who continuously lock away their God-given talents and, and delay being used by God. Exodus 4 and verse 10, it says, And Moses said unto the Lord, O my Lord, I am not eloquent, neither therefore nor since thou hast spoken unto thy servant. But I am slow of speech and of a slow tongue. And I'm sure that in the body of Christ, there are those who just don't feel themselves sufficient to do absolutely nothing. But I believe that the Lord is just waiting to use such a one. It's full time that we tell ourselves that I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. And it's not dependent upon my intellectual 
capacity. It's not dependent upon just where I've been or where I'm from or whom I'm with, but just recognizing that I'm a child of the king, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people chosen to show forth the glory of him who have called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. And it came to pass when Moses went out unto the tabernacle that all the people rose up and stood every man at his tent door and looked after Moses until he was gone into the tabernacle. And it came to pass as Moses entered into the tabernacle, the cloud, the pillow descended and stood at the door of the tabernacle. And the Lord talked with Moses. And all the people saw the cloudy pillar stand at the tabernacle door. And all the people rose up and worshipped every man in his tent door. And the Lord spake unto Moses face to face as a man speaketh unto his friend. And he turned again into the camp but his servant Joshua, the son of Nun, a young man, departed not out of the tabernacle. Moses said unto the Lord, See, thou sayest unto me, Bring up this people, that thou hast not let me know whom thou wilt send with me. Yet thou hast said, I know thee by name, and thou hast also found grace in my sight. Now therefore, I pray thee, if I have found grace in thy sight, show me now that I may know thee and that I may find grace in thy sight and consider that this nation is thy people. And he said, my presence shall go with thee and I will give thee rest. And he said unto him, if thy presence go not with me, carry us not up hence. For wherein shall it be known here that I and thy people have found grace in thy sight? Is it not in that thou goest with us so shall we be separated I and thy people from all the people that are upon the face of the earth? And the Lord said unto Moses, I will do this thing also that thou hast spoken, for thou hast found grace in my sight. I know thee by name. And I submit that the next verse is the clincher to what the Lord was saying to Moses. Verse 18. And he said, I beseech thee, show me thy glory. I beseech thee, Lord, show me thy glory. All the assurance that you have given, all the encouragement that I hear everything that you have said to me that you will be my voice you will be with me you will open doors all of that it's encouraging but the only thing that can grab a hold of the deep recesses of my soul is that you will show me your glory. Show me my glory. Hallelujah. 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 There's more that I'd like to share, but in the interest of time, I'm going to stop here. And I'd like to reinforce 
that there is no child of God that should be exempted. For where God wants to take his people. If there's any among us who feels that what you have to give is just too little, just insufficient, insignificant, you might be tempted that the, the enemy, the devil, is a liar from the beginning. And you seek to just oppress the child of God and keep us in a corner, dejected and withdrawn because he knows the power that is within God's people when we will bond together and do his will. So whatever the situation, you and I, we have the capacity to do great exploits for Jesus Christ. Don't be a wimp. Don't sit on your talents. And in closing, I'd just like to say that there's some people in the natural world, I, I was doing some personal stock taking myself, that God may have blessed you with a, with a piece of land. And we sit down one year, two year, three year, four year, 10 years, 15 years with old dry land doing nothing to it. That is a wimpish attitude. God believe in my ability and your ability. He's encouraging us, rise up and get things done. There is great potential for God's people. Don't be a wimp. Be a warrior. Be a worshiper. Seek God's glory. Ask him, Lord, in spite of where you have brought me, in spite of what may have happened in my life, just show me your glory. Hallelujah. 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 Let's just stand together. The widow, the wimp, the warrior. Let's just lift our hands as we worship the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. You have heard the preacher. It's time for you to respond. Is there anyone who has not been baptized in Jesus' name? Would come forward. Anyone who is in need of the Holy Ghost, you could make your way to this altar. Except you be born of the water and of the Spirit, you can't even see the kingdom. And the preacher has spoken. You can't fix up yourself enough for the Lord. You just come as you are. He wants you just the way you are. Don't consider that you are not good enough. He asked Moses, who made the dumb? Who made the lame? Who made the halt? Isn't I the Lord? So whatever your situation is, he will use you. Just make yourself available to him. The altar is open. Saints, if you want to come and recommit come to the altar now. Altar is open. Years I spent in vanity and pride. Carry
him not, my Lord was crucified. No, him not, it was for me. There's still room at the altar. There's still room. And we're still bidding, bidding that you come. Come, just, just as, as you, you are. The Spirit
Lord, saints, could you just gather around and let us close out in a place of glory? There are saints that souls at the altar. Let us sing and worship. I must be
join with somebody while we pray in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Just lift your hands and begin to worship him for what we have accomplished here tonight. God is great and greater to be praised. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. As we bring the curtain down upon our service tonight, we want to give the Lord thanks for the many, many blessings and what we have accomplished here tonight. We can't value what was accomplished here tonight, but the Lord knows the number. Hallelujah. Let's close our eyes. God, how great thou art. We are grateful for the privilege of being here. We thank you for what was accomplished, what you're doing, what you're going to do. Thank you, Lord. The word of God for it must accomplish with us, send us it. Thank you, Lord. As we turn our face homeward bound, we seek your divine covering. Lord, guide us on the way. Replace ourselves in your capable hand. What no other hand can do, your hands can do it. And so, Lord, we're careful to give you all the glory and the praise, for it all belongs to you. We thank you again. In no other name, but in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you. And everybody said, in Jesus' name. Jesus. Everybody said, in Jesus' name. Jesus. Hallelujah. Lift our hands and give him thanks. Thank you, Lord, for what you're doing. Thank you. Thank you. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul.